Scuba diving is entering another world, a world of weightlessness, peacefulness, sounds of bubbles and breathing, and if you listen closely, you'll begin to hear sea life. Color is different than on the surface. Reds disappearing in the water as you dive deeper, making everything a deeper shade of blue. That is where our adventure begins, underwater, in the Coral Triangle. The Coral Triangle is an area of 2.2 million square miles of ocean between Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Solomon Islands, and Timor-Leste. That is more than eight times the size of Texas. The Coral Triangle is considered the epicenter of marine diversity. It is home to 76% of all known coral species in the world, over 550 of them. 37% of the world's reef fish, over 3,000 species, call these reefs home. Six of the world's seven species of sea turtles can be found swimming over these reefs. It's unlike any other environment on the planet. Of course we can't dive the Coral Triangle without talking about, you guessed it, coral. Corals are animals that grow in warm, shallow waters. Hard corals are the reef builders. Coral are communities of polyps that secrete calcium carbonate, which creates the skeleton in and on which they live. They live on the outside edge of this structure, and as long as they're able to get enough building material from the water, they continue to grow. Hundreds or thousands of coral polyps build their skeletons close together, creating a coral reef. This reef provides homes and food for the critters that live there. During the day, the polyps of hard coral hide inside their skeleton, but at night they come out to feed. Coral also have a symbiotic relationship with algae, providing protection for the algae that live in the coral's tissues. The algae use photosynthesis to produce nutrients, many of which are shared with the coral. Soft coral come in a tremendous variety of colors and shapes and are different than hard coral because most species do not contribute to the building of the reefs. They also have a symbiotic relationship with algae and feed on zooplankton floating in the water. Coral reefs are disappearing. In the past 30 years, over 50% of the coral on Earth has died. The demise of coral is in part due to pollution, ocean acidification, overfishing, and warming of the seas. Losing this resource endangers not only the coral, but also the marine life that call it home. The reef is full of unusual, beautiful, and even strange critters. Some of the smallest of these are aptly named shrimp. Shrimp have lots of jobs, but are mostly cleaners. These shrimp have set up a cleaning station and are safe from being eaten as long as they scour fish and eels for parasites, another symbiotic relationship in the sea. Harlequin shrimp look like a committee designed them, and they're found near starfish. They eat the arms of starfish and change to the color of that starfish. It's not unusual to find bright blue or red accented harlequin shrimp. Anemone shrimp are found in and around anemones. Their job is to keep the anemone clean and to attract fish to the anemone by creating cleaning stations. Crinoid shrimp are found on feather sea stars and almost invisible, while emperor shrimp live on the underside of sea cucumbers. This goliath is a peacock mantis shrimp, but it isn't really a shrimp at all. It's distantly related to crabs and lobster. They catch prey using clubs that travel through the water at 50 miles per hour, faster than a 22 caliber bullet, and delivering 160 pounds of force when it strikes. Their eyes have 12 to 16 photoreceptors. Humans have only three. The female mantis shrimp carries her eggs on her forelimbs until they hatch. Can you spot the eggs on this female? Nudibranchs are the little gems of the sea, each one sporting colors and patterns more amazing than the next. They are a mollusk whose gills are located in plumes on their backs. Many also have tentacles on their heads called rhinophores, which are used for scent. 
This species number over 3,000 with yet more being discovered. Sea slugs are very similar to nudibranchs, but have no flowery gills. And flatworms, well, they're really flat and have no external gills or tentacles. See if you can tell the difference. Anemone fish are one of the more unique fish found in the coral triangle because they live among the stinging tentacles of anemones that are fatal to most other fish. They're immune to this sting because they're protected by a mucus layer. The symbiotic relationship provides a safe home for the fish, food and housekeeping for the anemone. We will see a few of the 28 variety of anemone fish. Although anemone fish are sometimes called clownfish or Nemo, true clownfish only live off the coast of Australia. This variety looks similar to Nemo, but it's actually called a false clownfish. They're different than clownfish because they have less black around the puzzle piece shaped white area on their backs. Porcelain crabs are also residents of anemones, primarily carpet anemones. This one is feeding at night. Seahorses and pipefish are part of the same family. Both have heads with long snouts that they use for sucking in their food. The smallest of these are called pygmy seahorses. Pygmies are typically no longer than three quarters of an inch, and many are even smaller. They're masters of disguise. These ones are camouflaged to look like the sea fan they call home. Ornate ghost pipefish are found in a much smaller area of the world and are extremely well camouflaged as well. They hide around crinoids, floating weeds, and gargonians. The juvenile is almost completely transparent. Pipefish look, well, like pipes. Their long pipe-like bodies are surrounded by bony rings. And some have a flared, colorful tail. Frogfish are well-camouflaged anglerfish that suck prey into their very large mouths. They can change colors to match their surroundings. Scorpion fish come in many shapes, colors, and sizes, but all have one thing in common. Very sharp, toxic spines used for protection. Sea cucumbers are the earthworms of the sea, bottom feeding and then pooping out clean sand. Blue spotted ribbon tail ray are beautiful and also venomous. This little guy is a boxer crab who decorates his hooks with anemones for protection. They cultivate their anemones like bonsai. Ribbon eel are sequential hermaphrodites. All are born male and change into females towards the end of their lives. Males are blue and yellow while the females are yellow. Cuttlefish are the chameleons of the sea, rapidly changing color, pattern, and texture to communicate. They can grow up to 20 inches long. Flamboyant cuttlefish are also called flambos. They're the only cuttlefish who walk. They're small, growing no longer than three inches, very colorful, and very toxic.
These are one of my very favorite critters in the sea. Enjoy a little bit of the variety of fish life from the Coral Triangle. Whale sharks are the largest member of the shark family and the biggest fish in the sea. They are an endangered species that can be found in very few parts of the world. One of these places is Oslob, Philippines, where they've taught the local fishermen how to feed the whale sharks to attract people who want to snorkel with them, rather than killing them for their fins. Whale sharks are filter feeders that eat plankton and can grow to be over 40 feet long and can live 100 to 150 years. The whale sharks of Oslob are wild and free to come and go as they please. We were happy they came back to snack on this particular day. Mm -hmm.